Hey, what's up, guys? I got another deck list for you, of course. This is a deck that I've been putting some games on over the last couple weeks. It is Resourceful Chilled. If y'all want some good discussion about Chilled and some kind of good background on them, you can check out uh, Random Number Gaming's podcast that they did just recently about Chilled and uh, whether or not he's an underplayed or underpowered MP. Uh, <laughs> you'll get my opinions on him pretty, pretty quick here, but uh, I've been playing... God, I've put... <sighs> I, I've put some games on him over the sets, right? The last time I really was playing him up until recently was like back when he dropped in set 9. And anyway, I had a few friends that have tried this deck. I Specifically Cody Witt, that's my, my friend had this deck. Um, also had, I think Nathan Bartell was the one who might have suggested I build this one. I can't remember who did, but it's been a while. I'd have to go back at the post. But anyway, this is... It's okay. It's okay. And I'll say why it's okay. It's not outright garbage, but I've been putting some games on it, and I think I know the direction I want to go with this. There are a few cards that could maybe sneak their way in here. That's what's going to be interesting about this. Is I have my own views on Chilled, and I guess I'll, I'll start with them right now. I guess if you look at his stack, he's all about gaining anger on his one, his two, and his three. His four is terrible. You're never going to hit there with this deck, but realistically, two, maybe three is what you're going to be shooting for. Ideally you want to get up to 3, because this is a universe board clear, like a go on 3 effect. Whereas like this 2 is such a low PUR, it does give you some anger if it hits, but it sucks that it's got to hit to give the anger. But this level 1 is awesome, and you're not going to probably be on this too long in a lot of the games if you do see dominance, which I had it at 2, it's been a pretty good at 2, I think I'll leave it at 2. You know, if you think you need 3, go for it. I could see Unleash going with Shield. At the same time, his 4 is so awful that you're never going to want to Unleash if you get on 3, so... I don't know, but... I could see like a 2 of Unleash, but it's a lot of room. Um, in this deck, of course, we're trying to fit so much. There's a lot of cards that have come and gone on this. I just did a bunch of editing on this deck after all the games I've played. You can check out my channel for some of the game. I think I have one game uploaded as of right now. There'll probably be more in the future. And this list will probably change, but for right now, of course, I have one lifting drill, uh, one overpowering drill, one recuperating drill, and I just bumped up to two biting drill, and I had originally had a mental drill and a battle over drill in here. Never used the battle drill. I mean, yeah, it's a great tech, absolutely, but never used it. Biting drill is absolutely mandatory. You need to push stage damage. You need modifiers so, so bad in Resourceful. If there's anything I've learned from playing Resourceful is if you don't have a modifier, you just suck. Well, at least Chilled's got one on his two, like Amaja Vegeta does, and getting this out is so, so fucking huge. It's so stupid how much better the deck is with Biting Drill. That said, because of the need for modifiers and also this this idea that Chill needs to deal five stages to get his crits going off here on his one and his three, um, which that is the theme of him, is that he gets crits when he deals five stages of damage, right? Of course, they completely skip that shit over on his level two, which I think makes him really, really bad on his two compared to how he could have been, but... It's the reason why I ended up cutting Sword Stance and Off Bounce Punch. They just, yeah, sure, were they board actions? Cool. But they were so low damage that a lot of times I was just never able to really... If I was on one, I couldn't proc them to get the crit on one. They did no damage practically. They weren't worth the slots in my opinion. They are cool that you could tutor them. I had Blue Temple on this deck. I ultimately cut it. And I don't think I'm going to look back on that. I don't think I'll feel bad about cutting it. Because it just wasn't doing enough. Tempo was not doing enough in this deck for me. I think Tempo could maybe come back in it too. But for now I cut it to put some other cards and push some other options. But really it was like a card that you felt was going to be doing a lot more. That just didn't really do a whole lot. Which really sucked. But um, again, just to go over the... But again... Lifting Drill comes to player super easy. Biting Drill gives you modifiers. Recuperating Drill is just awesome. It gives you some slime anger. It can help you copy anger attacks so you can level. And Overpowering Drill gives you some anger. It's potentially unstoppable attacks when you combo with Recuperating Drill and Decap over here, which both perform copies of attacks. Uh, Blue Absorption over here. Super awesome. One of the best cards in the deck by far. Uh, getting this for unstoppable attack with Overpowering Drill. Makes me want to run over to Overpowering Drill, but is just giving you a bunch of anger on like a defensive swing so it's just so huge um, 
Oh, we'll get to that card in a sec. So that's my board. Uh, stretch kick, key build up, dominance. Again, two dominance has been okay at two. I don't really have too much of an issue have getting to two. Most of the time I can get to two pretty good. Key build up's in there because it's a big attack. And so stretch kick. And those are good attacks. The other two, I would love to run like sword stance. And blue minion sounds cool in a theory because it gives you anger, but eh. An off balance punch is already a hard enough fit, so. And I caught it. <laughs> so there you go. I might miss it for the anger. I guess we'll see. But I have three blue lunch. Uh, again, I run, I, I run, what, like five, eight, eleven, thirteen board cards now. I had more. Blue lunch is just good. It's got endurance. I mean, hey, if I get these, sweet. If I don't, I don't. But it'll help me get these drills out quicker, which I want. Uh, blue betrayal, of course, you need it at three. Uh, head knock, I just added that in. I didn't have it in initially because I was more trying to play around this card right here in Rage Volley, which sets them to zero when they level. Just haven't been able to like get it. Even when I had Define Challenge, I was not able to get this card enough to where I felt it was worth it to like run Define Challenge. So I ran this instead, and I think giving me endurance back in the deck is really good. Uh, blue using you need a three. We're just going to push the gimmick. Shield is trying to crit you. Fuck it. I didn't have this card initially. We're throwing it in. I'm gonna crit you no matter what, man. I hit you, I crit you, I stop me, I crit you. I'm gonna push that crit idea. And again, I think Chilled is one of those MPs that came out in set 9. And in the first two sets of Fancy, especially, they're really trying to push all these MPs that are supposed to be meta counters. Like, Pycon was supposed to counter Draku, Unleashed, specifically. Um, and then he just never really got to play. Just Draku also popped off on play. Uh, Chilled. Chilled was supposed to counter like restore go. It was supposed to counter eyeline ball. It was supposed to counter. That's what it was. That was that. That's what it was supposed to be. And he was supposed to be like this anger and Pete. And they nerfed him. I forgot what nerfed him, but he used to be a little bit stronger. He had a better, I think, damage on his two, and I think he had a higher PR. But giving him two PR fucking just destroys him. Not getting immediate anger on his uh, two and three really sucks. Three has a really good constant, but. So we'll just push the gimmick. Uh, of course, it's big to help you seal the game a little bit better. Probably never going to really bump yourself, but if you do, um, the Source of Mastery is there to help you, especially if you have a range volley going. I had Clash Wolves in here for that very reason. Never had the combo go off, even though I only had like one, I think, in the deck when I was playing it. I think I had two for one game, but... Uh, excuse me, I'm a little tired here, but... I have never gotten the combo off, but there's just a little dream combo dig with this when they're at zero, so... They go to zero when you bump them with dig. Yeah. Uh, decap, of course, at two. You don't really need to see it that often. You're gonna not. I don't know. You, you're not gonna be clamoring to see a certain card in this deck at five copies, six copies. So I think two is plenty. Uh, round throw is a new add. Just give me a little more defense. It's also big AT physical with a little bit of angular, so I think that's worth its spot right now. Uh, Blue knee, I had a two. I kind of would want a 3 just because it hit, gives anger, but I want Devlo in here for the same reason, but Devlo just doesn't have a spot right now. I know it sounds nuts, but yeah, I mean, Devlo would be really awesome to fit. It's just, I'm looking for that style synergy first before I really try to throw in a lot of freestyles. Uh, Malicious Blast just came in now. I've been playing uh, Blue Cooler, and I've been thinking this card's decent because it's anger. So I decided to toss it in. I talked to Tommy Andre a little bit about a Frieza deck, actually, and he's like, hey, you gotta throw this card in. So I did. Uh, you know, Chill wants anger, so again, this will help him. You know, gives a little anger control for the lower two, so. And it's all kind of a hard to stop, which I think is kind of cool. And it's gonna be, of course, have all of its damage converted to stages, because that is Chill's theme here, is that he takes all life card damage you do and converts it to stages for better or worse. That's what kind of makes Sincho kind of bad with him, but... Um, and then I ran up the final attack across the range volley, and this card's cool if you get it. So my biggest thing with Chilled is I think he doesn't want to run... He kind of almost wants to run hybrid beats, but the issue with the hybrid beats is that he's not, a, he's not good at gaining stages. 2 PUR on his first two levels. No built-in stage gain. The... One Mastery, I guess Ascension gives him stages when he crits, but we're not playing Ascension, so there's very few reasons to 
want to run a lot of like costly energies. So that's what might make this not be a three. But this is just I have not got no games on it. This deck with this in here could be good. Could be could not be. It's gonna be a card that you're gonna have to lead with a lot of time. But if it hits on level one, you know it's a five, four anger card there. So it's got potential. Uh, we get to the events here. Stare down at three. We've got a land tax. Prescient, or prescience. I had to look at the Google pronunciation after Ryan O'Malley commented on what it was, and he was right. It's prescience. Um, of course, I like this card a lot. I know Diddy and Chain were ripping on this card in their podcast, but I think it's actually really good. The only issue is that critical damage is so hit and miss. Critical damage effects in general are so hit and miss, and when they're actually like good for a matchup. There's so many decks that don't care if you crit them. To them, it might be, like a, at worst, a lower anger one. Where there's other decks that are playing balls and allies that are like, ah, shit. But a lot of the really good ally decks have like really good ally recursion. But again, we're just going to try to force as many crits as possible. If you're going to play chilled, you're playing because you're trying to crit. So we're trying to make, you know, again, all these attacks here can crit. You know, these two attacks on his levels can crit. His level 1 can help you deal crit, so we're just going to try to push crit with whatever we can here. And it's a filter, so worst case scenario, you get 3 back in your deck, it's got 3 endurance, I think it's worth running. Blue Absorption is, I think, down, down my favorite card in the deck. This is like my favorite blue card at the moment. I love, love, love this card. So, so good. The best part about it is that you can get the big 2 anger swing with it. Uh, which is huge, because what you can do on chilled level 1 is your opponent throws an anger attack at you. You prevent it with absorption, let's say it's a red tannin attack. You copy, you, you do this, you copy it, so you raise your anger 1. And then you raise your anger 2 from absorption. So now you're going to 3 anger, right? If it hits with chilled level 1, uh, and it deals the 5, five stage threshold there, you uh, raise your anger 2, so now you just got 5 anger just like that uh, in two actions so pretty pretty cool I've really enjoyed it that card in uh, my blah, blah, blue cooler actually it's been pretty cool blue cooler protective you protective man you know I was gonna say you protective mastery with this card no you don't do that but there's just so many cool little combos you can get off of this card it's so so good uh, shifting new of course I have it in as a new ad it's mostly for the endurance that's, that's what it's here for, is really to the endurance. Um, and again, I, I threw round throw in here just for a little more protection against getting hit. I think they're going to be worth having in, personally, just having a little more defense. Um, again, looking at Alex Stewart, he ran Ruthless, or sorry, Resourceful, Maj Vegeta, and he had this at two, and he's like, you know, I never seem to put this card in my decks anymore for the longest time when I play Blue Beats. So I figured I'd try it out again. Um, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Luke's Excitement of 2 is mostly in here, so I can reuse Stretch Kick. <laughs> That's the main card I'm going to be reusing. But worst case scenario, I can always go pull a Dominance out towards the end of a combat, so I can Dominance late game. Another reason why you can actually run Dominance at 2, I believe. Uh, but either way, big Endurance, potentially pseudo block if you need to be, which is kind of cool. So, uh, Big Endurance block, big Endurance block, best block in the game. Again, this a little Anger Loring, this combos with... I used to have more setups, I never comboed it with this to get a crap load of anger lowering. It never happened in my handful of games I had. Uh, of course, this is just the great block. I mean, Blue Leverage would love to come into this deck, uh, and honestly, I could see it in the place of Shifting Maneuver, but right now I'm just trying to prioritize Endurance. And again, I cut Tempo out of the deck. I don't know, that might come back in. Again, Tempo is just really only good Ooh, excuse me. It was really only good if I had the cards to grab it and grab with it. I was going to add tempo in. God, I don't even know where I'd begin to cut, but round throw could see a cut for tempo. But that's ultimately what I swapped it for because I bumped down to two tempo when I was doing some changes, and then I just said ultimately cut it entirely. So. But maybe you think that I'm building this wrong. Maybe you think I need blue tempo to build some more actions. Maybe you're right. My, just my biggest issue with that is uh, they're so, so weak but I don't know, maybe I'll th mess with this more, honestly. I'm going to put some more games on it in the coming weeks, but definitely deck if you want to try out and have some fun. Try it out. Maybe you find out some flaws of it. Maybe Shifting Maneuver is crap. <laughs> crap garbage. 
uh, and you end up cutting it and we round throw and you toss in tempos and it's uh, a bounce punch. You know, maybe that's the better uh, better play here. Just cut some defense out of the deck. It could be. Honestly, I might do that. That's just something that I'm going to consider. I'm going to put some games on this, but that would be maybe one change I would make. Otherwise, maybe blue leverage over deterrence if you're not worried about anger. But I still feel like having defensive anger is too good. Uh, recuperating drill at two would be great if I could fit it, but this I don't know if I'd put it at two. I don't stop. This will get more use to that now that I have this in here, but and this, but but um, yeah. I, honestly, though, I think there's some decent synergy with chill in this. Again, we're just gonna try to put crit out, which blues sucks at critting, but. I don't expect this to be like T1 or anything. It's got potential though. Maybe I need, to, again, I'm gonna test it and see, but hopefully this kind of gives you an idea of maybe how, you, how to build them and maybe my thought, more of my thought process, I guess, on how you try to build these people. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going off here, but uh, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Take it easy and peace. Oop.